Hey guys, what's going on? It's Chris here again with a video showing you how to do a fresh install of Windows 10. Now this is specifically for the 2015-2016 series of Skylake uh, Dell XPS notebooks, including the XPS 15, 95, 50, and the XPS 13, 93, 50. But you should be able to use this on any computer that comes with Windows 10, it's just that this guide really is specifically for those laptops. It's actually recommended by a lot of people to reinstall Windows when you first get one of these because you can get rid of a lot of the kind of Dell bloatware that comes installed and a lot of people have reported like drastically improved battery life. So to start off, I want to give a big shout out to Lancer underscore pants on Reddit. He created the guide that I'm working from online and you'll see a link to his original one in the description. Now what you're going to need for this video is A, a laptop with Windows 10 that's capable of booting from a USB drive, and B, USB 3.0 flash drive. Um, it's got to be at least 8 gigabytes. Now, I don't know of any reason a USB 2.0 flash drive wouldn't work, but I haven't tried it. So if you want to use USB 2.0, it should be fine, but that kind of leads me well into the disclaimer for this. If anything whatsoever goes wrong with your computer following this guide, there's nothing I can do, and it's not going to be my responsibility. If you follow it, you should be fine, but you are doing it at your own risk. Now that that's out of the way, um, the first thing we need to do is download the 64-bit media creation tool for Windows. It's at this link, which will be provided as link number one in the description. Just hit download tool now. And run it. If it asks you this, whether you want to allow it to make changes, just hit yes. And now would be a good time to plug your flash drive in as well. Now just hit accept. And what you're going to want to select is create installation media for another PC. Hit next. Select your language, whatever that is. To do that you actually have to uncheck recommended settings. It's kind of lame, but that's fine. Just leave it as Windows 10 and set the architecture to x64. Hit next and select you're going to use a USB flash drive. Next again, select your flash drive. So this D will correspond to what it shows up as in Windows. If I go to this PC, you can see my flash drive right here is labeled as D. Select that and hit next. Now this is going to take a few minutes, but it's going to set up the flash drive so that you can boot your computer from it. Um, I'm going to move on to the next step while it's doing that because it's perfectly fine to keep using your computer while it does this, but if you'd prefer to wait or if you find your computer slows down or anything like that, that's fine too. So next we're going to want to go to link number two in the description, which is actually the Wi-Fi driver for the laptop. Now again, if you're using this for another computer, this is the driver for the XPS laptops. It's actually technically the driver for the XPS 13. I used it on my XPS 15 and it was fine, so just go here and click on Network and download this 1820A Wi-Fi driver. It's important to get this because for these computers at least, Windows doesn't pick up the Wi-Fi automatically. On a lot of computers it does, but on these ones it doesn't. So if you don't download this beforehand, when you reinstall Windows you'll be stuck without Wi-Fi and that's not good. <laughs> So to make sure to save that somewhere, you're no, going to know where to get to it because we'll need it again pretty shortly. Next we're going to go to link number 3 in the description. This is the Intel driver that you need to make an SSD work. So this step is only necessary for those of you who are using either A, a version of the XPS 15 that boots from an SSD like mine, I've got the 256 gig SSD, or B, any version of the XPS 13. They all boot from an SSD, so this step is required for all of them. Just hit download on this zip file. That's currently what it's called that may change in the future. Accept the license agreement. And again, you're going to want to know where that downloads to. In fact, let's open that up right now. Go to your downloads folder or wherever it's saved. Just right click on it in Windows and hit extract all. We don't have to show extracted files when complete. 
this needs to be extracted. We have to have this as a folder and not a zip file. Now in order to do this next step, the USB creation tool has to be finished. So just wait till that gets to 100% and click finish. All right, now once that's finally done, hit finish. Oh, more stuff. <laughs> now it really is done, just open up the flash drive in Windows. And in the root directory here, just create a new folder and just call it drivers. In that folder, we're gonna to wanna to put uh, both of the drivers we downloaded earlier. So open up wherever you stored those and copy in both the Wi-Fi driver and the SSD driver. Now again, it's important to remember that if you are using the SSD driver, it has to be unzipped in just a folder. That's really important. Once that's done, you're good to go. The next step is to just shut down the computer. All right, at this point, pretty much just turn the computer on and spam the F12 key until you see preparing one-time boot menu up in the top right-hand corner. If for whatever reason it doesn't work for you first try, don't sweat it. Just turn the computer off and try again. And then it's going to come up with this boot menu. Just use the arrow keys to select your flash drive. And once you've got that highlighted, hit enter. Once you do that, it's gonna go back to the Dell logo and then boot into a Windows installation screen. Now, if you're like me and you've got the 4K model of the XPS 15 or you've got the QHD version of the XPS 13, the Windows install menu is gonna be tiny. Um, it really wasn't set up for high DPI displays. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. If you wanna learn more about what a high DPI display is, just check out this video where I explain all that stuff. On this first screen, you can get away with just selecting whatever you want and hitting enter. Then just click install now. It's going to come up with setup is starting. You can't see it on my screen because I zoomed in with my camera for the benefit of making the menu larger, but uh, it's just at the bottom there. On this screen, just hit accept and hit next, or actually you can even hit spacebar and that'll check off the checkbox and then hit enter. Now here, you're gonna wanna select custom, just click on it. All right, now this is back to the only if you're using an SSD drive. It'll show this message here that says, we couldn't find any drives to get a storage driver, click load driver. That's exactly what you're gonna do. Click the little CD icon that says load driver, then click browse in the dialog box that pops up. Expand your flash drive here and expand the drivers folder. And just click the folder for those drivers and hit okay. And then hit next. It'll take a minute or two here, but that'll install the uh, SSD drivers it needs, and then it'll show you several different partitions. Now, out of these partitions, you're going to want to just click on each one and then click delete. And I should also note that if you haven't already guessed it, it's at this point where you're actually deleting everything on the computer. So it's really important by now that anything on the computer that you had that you need, you've backed up onto like an external hard drive or the cloud or something. Um, once you get to the point where it just completely says disk unpartitioned space and that's the only one that's showing, just click new. Um, it'll pop up by default with the maximum size it can be. Just use that and then hit next. Now I'm not going to do it because this is the point of no return. I've already reinstalled Windows and I don't want to go deleting my partitions and reinstalling and then I lose all my stuff. But uh, for you, just do that, hit next and then it's gonna go through the install process. After that, it's gonna reboot your computer into the state it was when you first got it, where it's asking you to set it up, pick all your settings, like uh, the name of the account on the computer, the password and everything, and then it's gonna boot into Windows. All right, once you've got uh, your settings all done and you're back into Windows on the desktop, all you need to do is reinstall those Wi-Fi drivers. Now, you can see my Wi-Fi is already working because I didn't actually reinstall Windows because I've already done it, but basically you just go to the flash drive again, select it and go into drivers. 
and just run the network driver exe file. Uh, hit yes if it asks you this. Um, hit install. It's probably going to fail for me because I've already done it, but it's very straightforward. Just hit next a couple times and then finish, and then you're good to go. So I'm just going to cancel this actually. Cool. Um, the one last thing you're going to want to do is make your flash drive just a regular flash drive again. So just right click on it. Um, you can do it from this left menu here or go into this PC. Right click on it. Hit format. Just set it to FAT32 or NTFS. It doesn't matter. Um, FAT32 is the default. NTFS can be useful for certain things. If you don't know which to select, just leave it on FAT32. Quick format is fine. Hit start. OK. <clears throat> and once it comes up with format complete, hit OK, and you're good. There it is. One other thing is, if you don't want it to have this ESD-USB name, just go back to the format menu, and this time just type in, like, uh, my flash drive, or whatever you want. Oh, my flash doctor, that's all it that fits, works for me. Hit start, OK, blah, 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 and it's done again. So there you go, that's all it is. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. If you disliked it, sure, dislike it. Uh, leave me a comment explaining your feelings one way or another. And uh, if you really love the video, subscribe. Uh, there will be plenty more like this, including a review of my new XPS 13 coming soon. If you want something to watch now, check out this video. It's my audio showdown between the Tascam DR05, the Paulson OLM10 lav mic, and the microphone built into my Canon Rebel T3i. Thanks for watching.